Hello, Akemashite, Omedeto Gozaimas. Happy New Year. Uh, my first stream of the New Year is going to be Tunic, a game that I know of, but I know precious little about, except is good. So we're going to hop into it. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like Link, but with my scarf. Also, I'm reading this this Happy New Year in German. Grohes, yes, ja. You know, writing it in, in katakana makes it so much more accessible. Oh, I can roll. Okay, that takes my stamina. Okay, and there's there's no like help or anything, so we're just we're just in it. Oh, I thought these are spikes, but they're not. They're soft. They're like foam. Oh, this game already looks beautiful. It looks so touchable. The textures. Mail for me? No, the flag isn't up. Ooh. I got a stick. That's what the chivo for this says. I see, okay. Left bumper is my items. Okay. It looks like if I press the shoulder buttons I can tilt the uh, the camera up. I don't I don't think the stick is going to do much, no. No strange old man to give me my first weapon. I am a strong independent canid who don't need no old man. Yeah, my stick is not going to break these foam blocks. German with hoodie gonna win, honestly. <laughs> and granted, it would make it, you know, um, accessible if, uh, you know, or rather, you would need to learn uh, Kana to make it accessible. But for me, that's perfect. Hello, little blobs. Left trigger. Heck, blobs. Hero's grave. Sword. Oh, but it looks like it's locked, maybe. Yep. We are a good fox and do not commit crimes. Which almost seems like the antithesis of a fox. I don't know. Do foxes strike you as, as criminal? I know they, they yell. But I don't live in a place with foxes. Too far from my stick. Well, I'm sure there's probably foxes in the city somewhere, but not near me. Nope, can't drop down there. Oh, this is a spicy blob. seen stills of this game. I've never really gotten to see it in motion before, but I really like, again, just the, the texture of everything. Everything looks so soft and touchable. Oop, I didn't mean to hit that. Oopsie. town. I do know that part of this game is actually finding pieces of the manual, I think? So you can understand the language. Oh. I wonder if that was a, a save point of some sort, like a bonfire. Well, the enemy is respawned, so I'm gonna say yes. Ooh. Yes, I will take. Oh, now it's Wind Waker. 
Oh wait, what was that left trigger there? Is that something I could target or? No, it doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of fellas down there. Some cats looking at me. What impeccable dramatic timing a fox is screaming at you in real life. How apropos. They want to play fox game too, I bet. Well, I have this key. In a far-off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. This is so cute. Health point, stamina, and magic. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Same, little buddy. Same. Okay, it looks like I only have this one page for now. Oh, I can even zoom in. I like how they even have like the the texture, or not the texture, just the that uh, printed look, like the 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 dots in the ink. You know what I mean? There's a word for it. Who has looted this chest before me? I'm outraged. Didn't even like leave any leftovers for me. Maybe a secret. Uh huh. I got an effigy of myself. A hat, maybe? I don't know what this is. Well, I can wear it, I guess. Oh. 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 Destroy false idols. I didn't think it was going to shatter like that. Hmm. Maybe this little friend has never seen a hat before and doesn't know what you're supposed to do with it. Do these things actually attack? The blue ones clearly do. Breaking pots with my stick. They're so gentle when they explode. I must say I'm glad I chose this game to stream. I'd also been thinking of Earthbound. I don't think that one's off the table, maybe for Friday. But I really needed something chill. Especially because I'm feeling a little worn out and a little bit under the weather today. And I thought Earthbound would be a lot more talking. But this we can just kind of relax, vibe. Nope. I can't get over there until I can break these cubes. Nothing else for me here. I hope you get a map at some point. I'm sure I'll figure out my way around this place eventually. But it will take a bit to build the memory of the layout, for lack of a better word. East Forest. Time to go get lost in some woods. Okay, these do attack. I love this concept of finding the pages of a manual. Okay, so I can shield, right bumpers, potions, it looks like. I can hold the button and do something. 
I think. I'm not sure what the hold is. Hmm. Maybe that becomes more apparent when I get the text translated. Oh wait, I can run if I hold it. Never mind. That's it. I thought it would extend my roll, so that's what I was looking for. But no, it lets me go faster. I wonder, has anyone here played... Gosh. I think it's called Heaven's Vault. It's a game I've been wanting to check out for quite a while. I'm not going to go down there just yet. Um, where you are, I think, like an anthropologist trying to piece together an alien language. I might be getting the details wrong because I haven't played it myself, but I just love the thought of it conceptually. And I know there's another game with a similar conceit that came out a little while ago, where again you're trying to figure out a language. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It sounded intriguing, but then uh, I was reading about it on, I think, Rock, Paper, Shotgun. And they mentioned some stealth segments, and I'm not so keen on stealth. Sipping my tea. Ah, delicious. Nope, not going back up there until I can jump. Are foxes good jumpers? I don't know. Yeah? Mm. I guess not. Maybe we have no bucket. That's what, what it's telling me. Ow! I got zapped. No damage run over. say there's something very appealing to me about a game where you're just a little guy. Like Hollow Knight too. Those are the kind of protagonists I can relate to. When you're small and cute but strong. I don't like the look of those cat-like warriors over there. They look mean. Why are cats always mean in media? Thank you for the friendly fire. What? Well, I'm out of stamina. Can't roll, can't roll. Hero's grave. I guess bonfire. Does this heal me? Okay, it does. Excuse me, excuse me. Guardhouse. I don't know how effective blobs are as guards. Uh -oh, I'm rolling too much. I guess strength in numbers. Stamina. 
Anyway, I'm also thinking about stuff like Heaven's Vault. Not that I've played it, but I think just being thrown into a world and not really having a lot of context uh, to go on and having to puzzle things out yourself. Hmm. I enjoy the challenge of such a thing. Not that way. Like a game I was talking about a while ago, the, uh, the Curse of the Golden Idol. Similar in that you had to work out a lot of the context on your own. It's very satisfying when you're able to puzzle things together. Hello, Fluvkul, how are you? Happy New Year. Anyone who may be lurking or that I've missed, Happy New Year to you. I hope you are well. Ow. I guess I don't really have to fight these things. It's not like they give experience. At least I assume the, uh, the cubes they are dropping are money. Even cute animals are not free from capitalism. You know, I'm gonna use the bonfire after this, so I don't really know why I bought all those guys. I don't know what happens if you die in that if you get shuffled back to the last place you prayed, for lack of a better word, and if you keep your progress or not. But I don't want to take that risk. I got a delicious fruit, maybe? I can see it in my inventory. I'm a little... That's not what I want. I'm a little concerned. Or not concerned. I'm a little hesitant to equip it. Because of what happened to that hat I got. Or we just kind of threw it on the ground. Wait, there's a manual page over there. Let me get that before I go wandering off into another direction. Face your adversaries. A focus and evade or block. Well, if I had a shield. Check for dust. Oh, that's handy. I like that there's a little bit of English. Love this little guy simulator. Okay. Put that away. Is there anything else I can reach here in this area? Hero's grave. I feel like I should go there. But I kind of want to know what's down here, too. I'm hoping this will just lead to a little secret, an item. Not a whole other area to explore. Oh, I think it's a whole other area. Spider. Why do I feel like these things are going to kill me very fast? You know what? Maybe I'll come back. They seem very aggressive. And with my little stick, I don't think I have much of a chance against them with their speed. Stick is not really the ideal weapon. Hello, Joanna. How are you? Happy New Year. I guess I should proceed to the hero's grave, maybe? And I'll come back and check out all that stuff. I'm assuming hero's gra grave will maybe get me a sword. Oh, ouchie. Owie. Goodness gracious. These are some beefy blobs. Yeah, I may die here. I do have this potion. Oh, that... Well, my health is pink now. Or it was always pink. I mean, it was... I get it flashing? I don't know. Maybe that was some sort of invulnerability. After chugging that potion. Either way, ouch. I'm in need of medical assistance. My money. 
That's okay, I found nothing to spend it on. Oh, well, this is unexpected. I got a Chiva. What just happened was resurrected. Well, thank you, mysterious deity, I assume. I really need a weapon that's better than a stick. Like, how fast is this thing gonna kill me? Ow. Pretty fast. Pretty fast. You know what? Nah. Not that way. Hmm. So my assumption is I'm probably going to have to find a better weapon before I can progress forward in any other direction. Because stuff there is, I think, a little too strong for my little stick. Oh, I can't get past here. Well, I guess I'll have to go past those blobs. I do have my potion back, which is nice. What is up, fox god? There's got to be fox gods out there. In reality, right? Oh man. Oh man. I was gonna like try and fight one at a time. Let me let me uh, recover my health and try that again. Mori, this is very inefficient, I know, I know. But I would like to not beans it on the next set of enemies, so and there's there's nothing between me and those blobs. Oh, you're a little sick. Same. Oh. Oh, boy, you have much larger reach than I thought you would. Jeez Louise. Would love, like, a shield. Mostly I would love something a little more potent than a stick. Okay. If I can go just one of these into coming to fight me. Oh! Ow. Crowd control seems important when you do not have a lot of health. And are simply a little fella with a stick. There we go. I wonder if there's a way to recover health beyond potions. Oh, great. I think there's a way I can just run past this. Because those fellas are very strong. Uh, I don't... Ow. I don't think so. I'm assuming I need to fight them to get that door open, maybe? Or not. Mm-hmm. Work smarter, not harder. Wikipedia says, in part of Hebei province in northeastern China, everybody is issued a patron god at birth, and most of them are foxes. Oh, I'm reading this backwards. Northeastern China has a fox god, and then in Hebei province... Uh, everyone is issued a patron god at birth, and most of them are foxes. That's cool. Okay. Let me see if I can't just juke past these. Oh, no, I can't. Since I'm very low on health. Oh, I want that sword. That's all I want. Give. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm slightly less pathetic. I have to, I have to equip the sword. I have to equip the sword. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I feel 
much better equipped to handle fighting things now that I have something a little more potent than a stick. Granted, I may still die to that little electric thing. But I have a sword. Actually, if I if I die before I make it past or pa back to the uh, bonfire, do I lose it? Well, I don't think there's anything in my way from here to there, so I should be okay. When two people get married, their patron gods also get married and hang out together at the shrine. That's cute. I wonder if, like, families tend to have the same patron god. Okay. Is there a secret in here? I can get up here. Well, that looks menacing. Let me go here first and get that box. Now that I have a sword. So I'm a little more capable of fighting these things. Something tells me my stick would have done, like, nothing. There we go. I'm a little antsy to go over there. That one's wearing a different color. You know he means business. No stick only challenge. <laughs> Maybe on a replay. Eh. Ow. Oh. I wonder if there's a way to... Oh, up your stamina. She don't have very much before you run out of juice. I'm also a little curious about spider country down there, but I feel like they're just too fast based on how they were moving. I think I would need more equipment to stand a chance in spider country. Cool. Oh, that's not the right button. I'm sipping my tea. Box god can be either male or female, but if female, usually has nine tails. Now that's, a, that's a good question why in East Asia, foxes um, with extra tails are a thing. Yeah, gosh, what's the Korean version? I want to say it's like a kumi hole, but I might be getting the name wrong. I know what you're talking about, though. I've heard of it before. Did China, Japan, and Korea all independently derive the idea of fox lady with extra tails, or did they all get it from the same source? That's an excellent question. Cool, I got uh, maybe a broken bottle? That seems dangerous. Please dispose of your broken glass properly. Oh, well, you know, I just noticed that my potion is actually refilled. Might as well just use that now. I guess it's like my <laughs> Estus flasks. Oh, hello. Wait. Should I go back to the bonfire? Uh-oh. Okay. So I, I don't know if I die, if this staircase will get undone or not. I might go down anyway, because I think there's a little spawn point. I should stop calling them bonfires, really. Oh, uh, here we go. I only briefly played the first Dark Souls when it was like a little timed demo on the Switch. And I really wish it explained things better. You, you can give me all your geek goods you want, but I, I mean, if you're gonna put all your tutorial text like just in little uh, paragraphs just laid on the ground in one room, then you're expecting me to remember them all. I'm not going to. I like Code Vein's tutorial because it showed you moves and let you practice them in context. Instead of like, here's everything you can do. Whoop. Ow. Okay, that, that hurts, so I gotta watch out for his dash. Oh man. Okay, flash before they attack. 
Many. That hurts. Please, sir, I'm just a little guy. Oh Out of juice. Oh, oh we're good. <laughs> I mean, for certain definitions of good. But we're good. Ugh. Well, if I... Stub my toe on a rock in the next room. I hope he doesn't come back. Woohoo! Oh, I'm hoping it's like Hollow Knight, where if you die, you know, you lose some currency, but you can retrieve it if you find your shade, for lack of a better word, and that you don't lose any progress. That's one thing I liked about Hollow Knight, is that even though it was difficult... You never, I never felt like I was losing progress if you died, and it's like save points are always right next to uh, difficult areas or boss battles. So it was pretty easy to, you know, I'm going to try a different charm loadout and try again. I know I've spoken fondly of Hollow Knight before, it's what got me back into streaming, but I think that game does difficulty in a very satisfying way. Your mileage may vary, but I found it just right. And it controls so well. And if you die, like, it's your fault. It's not like a fault of the game's controls. But you see what you've done wrong. And then I always found it, I was doing better consistently. If I died in a boss, my next attempt would go better. Super Mario Odyssey death. Death costs ten money. Oh ho. Is this like a big tuning fork? I was standing there drinking my tea, thinking, oh, we're gonna get a cutscene, but no. I don't know why I rung that, but I mean, what are bells or tuning forks there for if not to be rung? Oh no, I'm back here. There's nothing back here, is there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like die to a blob. Oh no, I, I used one of my, my potions. I can't call them Estus flasks, because this ain't Dark Souls. But what do I call them? I mean, I could call them potions, but that feels too prosaic. My Kool-Aid. My pomegranate juice. Oh, I have a map! Okay. Okay, I see where I am. I wonder what that question mark is. I'm finishing my tea while I take in this map. Juice. It's pomegranate juice, I have decided. Okay, sealed temple, mountain door. Okay, I see another tuning fork to the west. I want to know what that question mark down there is. I wonder if I can get down there. Maybe. Well, nothing for it but to explore, I hope, I, I assume. Slorm. A type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Auto bolts. Well, if I had a shield. I love having something more powerful than a stick. Sorry for everyone who wanted to stick only run. Slurm is valid. Although it sounds unfortunately close to slurm. If anyone here enjoys Futurama. Slug soda. Oh, okay, 
I, I recognize this area. This is where we started. Uh, I know there's... Oh, here we go. Oh, that pulls up the manual if I just press that button. Okay, and it does show where I am. I want to know if I can get down to that question mark there before I... Oh, I do wonder what that fox symbol there is. Oh boy, magpie brain is already taking over. Well, no, focus. Question mark first. I don't have any more mail, do I? No. Oh, I guess it's this thing. This is the mysterious question mark. <laughs> That's repulsive, keeps drinking. Okay, and then the shore. Gosh, I can't get over how much I love this game's art style. I want that manual page. I don't know if there's a way for me down there just yet. I don't think. I'm not seeing one. I could get over here. But I've been here already. Oh, there's a ladder though. Cool, still no no idea what I do with those gems. Cool skull. can't venture any further out into the water. Can foxes swim? I assume so. I don't see they would, why they wouldn't be able to. Seeing as how they're so dog-like. Okay, yeah, that's all that's there, so I guess I'll just head up. There's nothing else left in this house, which I shouldn't just assume is mine. I mean, I don't know why my house would contain nothing but some pots and a stick. Yeah, I don't want this house. This house sucks. I bet the rent is like $2,000 a month. Sorry, 2,000 uh, gems a month. Whatever these, this pixel currency is. Here. I wonder if we'll get a cutscene if I go to the sealed temple. Oh, I'm in the ghost world again. I was so dazzled I died. Or I'm having a psychic vision of some sort. Oh, this looks kind of like the staircase I went up to get to the temple. Like a spirit version of it. Oh, tuning forks. Are you in need of assistance, ma'am? Oof. 
All right, well, I'm assuming it's telling me I need to hit those tuning forks to open the door and potentially free a sealed god. Let them out. We don't know what crimes they've done, but we should let them out anyway. Well, there's a manual piece there, a little windmill, another well. Will I learn how to make it rain? Oh, textures. I am also willing to forgive all crimes. Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh. Do I only get one? Do I want another flask, or do I want some party poppers? <laughs> I mean, it is New Year. Well, it was. Mostly I'm just appreciating how cool this design is. Is this like Zelda, where you can only take one? Like, the original Zelda, I mean. And I know at least one choice was, here's a whole new heart container, or a potion. You know, only suckers take the potion. But these are permanent. I don't know. I assume I need this, but then will I be depriving myself of a flask? Can I come back? Also, why are you in a, a, a windmill? Then again, I've not been in a windmill. So maybe there's cool skeleton foxes in there. Oh, hope. Let me see if I find a place that might need party poppers. Okay, well, there's the other tuning fork. To all the developers of this beautiful game, I sincerely apologize for giving things silly names like party poppers and tuning forks and pomegranate juice. Wind chimes. Oh, I thought you were on the floor below me, but you weren't. I guess can't do anything with the well. Also, belatedly, you should replay Hollow Knight. Oh, I got another broken piece. Okay. Two out of three. Maybe another one will give me either another flask or more for my health bar. I can't get down from here. Gracious. Sippy my juice. Ow. Sippy my juice. No safety, low stability, hurt more. Okay, I really have to be careful about that. Sword stick, shield, bomb. Okay, more different bomb. I guess ice bomb, fire bomb, effigy. It really was called an effigy. I don't know why I threw it on the ground. I love that there's pen markings on this. They say if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize, so don't be afraid to use them. Magic potion. Oh. 
I love that, the, the pen writing on the manual. I wonder what those pictures next to the bombs mean. If it's something about, I don't know, their radius or... I don't know. I hope I didn't accidentally waste that effigy by smashing it on the ground, but how was I supposed to know that's what they would do? Sometimes when you're a little guy, you have a lot of aggression workout because the world is not made for little guys. And then you have to smash. Let me get rid of you before- oh! Before I get rid of the big one. Because you get in the way more. Boy howdy, I want an upgrade to my stamina. I roll too much. I gotta remember, I can only really roll a couple times before I tire out. Okay. While idly poking around Wikipedia, you made another discovery. Vietnam also has nine-tailed foxes. What's that one called? Although, I, I fear I would butcher the pronunciation. Also, I'm gonna go visit this cool skeleton fox. Maybe I'll just- I'll take the potion. Because looking at the manual, bombs are just a regular old consumable. I could probably get more. So, I'll take this. Oh, I buy them. Okay, you're not just giving it to me. I have money for both. Take some party poppers. Oh, this, I assume this is like a permanent new new juice bottle. It is. Thank you. They seem to be more benevolent than other countries' versions. Yeah, when I think about it, a lot of I know the the at least the um, Korean nine-tailed fox spirit is largely malevolent. I think. I think the one in uh, in Japanese lore as well, or folklore rather. But don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert. I think folklore is really cool, but I don't know much about it. I just like reading about it. Hang on, uh, what's in here first? I remember I used to have. Uh, a book. I don't remember what it was called. It was like a storybook with, I think, a lot of um, folklore from Africa. Oh, I got some flowers. And there were uh, stories about Anansi. I like the, the spider trickster god. I liked Anansi. Anansi was cool. And my other frame of reference for Anansi was the Wishbone episode with Anansi. Are people here familiar with Wishbone? Anansi does rule. What if there was a guy and he was up to stuff? There's something I enjoy about learning um, about... Uh, what is the word? I guess reoccurring characters and folklore across the world. And like so many societies, so many cultures have trickster gods out that are, you know, a guy that is just up to stuff. The great equalizer of humanity. What if there was a guy and he was up to stuff? I want that. Come on, little buddy. Surely you can climb. Also, I'd love to find a bonfire. Where am I on my map? Oop. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't mark them on the map, but I can kind of see where I am. What is that question mark? I guess that was another one of those yellow... Pads. I wonder if it's some sort of teleportation quick travel system. I might try and avoid these fellas, though. My health is not great. That is that is a big fella. I shied away from one in an earlier area. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Okay, I'm gonna let him strike. And then whack. I 
got another effigy. What is this? Some sort of hook? Hmm. I wonder what this strange purple stripe is. Universal human urge. A guy who is up to stuff. We have coyotes too. Oh, there's a key. Okay, big fellow's guarding a key. Well, we're just gonna have to be brave and fight some guys. Uh oh, it's one of those turrets. Nope. Better not go that way, because I will definitely beans it. I may beans it against this this I wanna call him a rat. I don't know what he is. Oh, I'm out of stamina, careful. Can I have your key? I don't- I don't think- <laughs> Vibrating with rage, I don't think they're gonna let me take their key. I don't suppose there's a- there's a- there's a handy... Bonfire. What is this? This flower looks significant. I mean, no, not that. I do have... I did pick up a flower, I don't know where it is. And I am hesitant to try using the effigy in any way. Because I don't want to just smash it on the ground. What if it has another use? Coyotes are the second most smartass of all dogs, after foxes. <laughs> well, how are, where do foxes rank on the, uh, like, smartassy cats? Uh-oh, another turret. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love a shield. Love a way to mark that there's a turret there, because I will forget. I'm gonna need to get that key from that that ratto too. I don't know what he is. The green fella. Most species of cat are not very smart-ass at all. Requires a certain level of social behavior, true. Maybe that's why domesticated cats have that under wraps. Where am I? I'm here. I'm a little railway. Feeling my way around. Is there anything I can do here? Is there a way out? Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Well, now I am near that. Uh-huh. Okay. Domestic cats. Very smartass. Lions. Kind of smartass. Cheetahs, you've never heard of them exhibiting smart-ass behavior, just being absolute nervous wrecks. <laughs> Those are your smart-ass ratings for social cats. A fox is on par with a house cat. Acceptable. <sighs> I, I see this, this obelisk, but I cannot touch. This little guy, and I say little, little guy in the gender-neutral sense cannot climb over that barrier. They're very polite. Oh boy. Okay, not not that always. Not that always. I do want to get the key from that ratto, but I also want to just poke around. It is really easy to get lost in this game. Hello crush me. Happy New Year. Yeah, I whoa 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 I need a shield. Oh wait, there's a treasure up there. Oh, that's right, I didn't get it because there's a there's a turret. I get the sense that those will shred my health very fast if I don't have a shield. Because otherwise they wouldn't be a very good deterrent. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 
Well, I'm gonna take the key from this ratto, or whatever they are. I guess they're not really a rat. It's just they're pointy, so I think ratto. Well, let me let me deal with this fellow first. In a corner. Don't want to be in a corner. Why well, they really are just vibrating with, with impotent rage. Thanks. Hey, okay, bye. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Boy, that is entirely too many projectiles. You do not need all of those. Rat with spear. This is Freya Final Fantasy IX. One of the coolest rats in gaming. Not that there are a lot of rats in gaming, which is a shame. Oh, I love these little organic shortcuts back to earlier areas. Let's see, where was the old house? Oh, like right beside me. There we go. Oh no, don't 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 smash it. Don't break their Oh. Oh man, I feel bad about that. Wow, spacious attic you've got here. Oh. Hata. Yay. Now I can deal with the turrets. Thank you, kind stranger, with the bizarrely spacious attic full of skulls. I'm sorry I took your, your single pixel dollar. Is there a secret down here? There's always secrets behind the waterfall. It's the rule. It's the law. Oh. So, you know, that's that's good game design, where there's these pathways that are not obvious um, to get back to previous areas. And if you're, you know, replaying the game, you know they're there, so you can take advantage of that information. But if you're new to the game like me, then you just find them organically, and it's a nice little, aha! Uh -huh, a secret. Like behind the window. Ooh, I got a tooth. That's gotta be like at least five dollars in tooth fairy currency, right? Uh oh. Oh. I'm gonna try not to forget that I have a shield now, but no promises. Hello. Uh oh. Uh. You know, something tells me I shouldn't be in here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna find some sort of lantern and come back. I might need an HM. I have gone through Rock Tunnel in the dark before. Once I played through Blue, and I didn't want to use... I didn't want to teach anyone in my party Flash. Because it's such a waste of a move. And I was too stubborn to 
you know, get a, get a, a Pokemon just for learning HMs. Because I know a lot of people did, but I always felt bad. I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to teach anybody Flash. So I'm just gonna go through Rock Tunnel in the dark, and I did it. It wasn't my first time through it. Oh, Spicy Pepper. Danger. And granted, that that was not my first time through the rock tunnel. To be to be adamantly clear, yeah, you know, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend doing it without Flash if you've never done it before. I mean, I'm sure you could do it. You just wouldn't have a good time. Don't forget trying to use my shield on these guys. It's just more effective if you just hit them. Take some more sippy. immune while you are opening a chest. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Save me, Juice. Ah, oh, so close and yet so far. Is there anything else for me over there aside from that chest and this piece of the manual I can't yet access? Bridge, bridge, bridge. Before it kills me, please. Hurry. That's all I needed. Thank you. And good night. Will it show? Or I beansed it. It doesn't, but I can still see near the dark tomb there. Okay. How much currency do I actually lose? I have 280. Is the quickest way back there. I did deploy that bridge. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Maybe like northwards of me? Can't, no, not here. Reminds you of your recent playthrough of White 2 where you had to rely on a Psyduck for all of your HM moves since none of your team could learn Surf. And you weren't going to be wasting a move slot on strength. Strength isn't bad, though. Uh, I'm trying to think what's the quickest way to get back there. I'm trying to think really where, where that bridge I let down with my dying breath. I knew I wasn't going to wasn't gonna make it. But let, let me just open that shortcut. And we're Gucci. You know, in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't just like run past things willy-nilly. Because now they're all chasing me. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, turret. Okay, I gotta go around it, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's explosion kills you. Oh, man. Well, live and learn, I guess. How dare you explode on me? Hmm. Thinking here. So I know there's some more stuff in like the southwest. Now that I have the shields. So where are the notes and the turrets again? I feel like there was something somewhere. Oh yeah, I need a lantern for that. I could have sworn there was like some note. Remember, I think I, I need to be holding the left trigger more. Okay, hot pepper, I guess, boosts your Attack, maybe? Hmm. Well, you were doing an all-steel team. Like, was that a specific challenge you were doing? Thinking... Do I want to go back through here? Hello. 
closer. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was thinking I'll fight them, and then I realized, no, I probably shouldn't. I'm just gonna go in here so they stop chasing me. Okay. They all stop chasing me, right? Okay, cool. I know there are more turrets somewhere. There we go. Turret is no longer dead. Okay, I need to be a lot faster. Oh, heck. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. Oof. Scary. Oh, great. It's another Ratto. Or whatever it is. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, man. Well. Ow. Okay. 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 Well. Something tells me I'm gonna need a different tool to get past that. I don't know what they are. I'm just calling them rattos. Actually gonna go back to that. I need a I need a better name than Bonfire. It feels almost disrespectful to the devs of this game to steal Dark Soul or for me to steal Dark Souls parlance. Like, oh I don't want to call these Estus flax, the flasks. It's oh juice! 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 I haven't thought of a name for them yet. I need something fun to call them. I guess I could just call them goddess statues. Hmm. I wish I could remember exactly where those turrets were. Well, they're just out. Heck, this gate. I kind of just want to go back and heal again. I know that's not terribly interesting, but considering how much damage uh, you can take so easily, call them Healy friends. What do you mean, don't do this? the thought of an all-steel challenge. What was on your team, if I might ask? That's not a type I've used a lot of. I've used some steel types on my team before. Are there any steel types that can learn surf? There must be, surely. Oh, granted, uh, I don't know the average buoyancy of a steel type Pokemon is probably not great, but surely there's something. Oh, well, that's convenient, thanks. I love it when enemies out can damage each other. Come on, Mori, don't get impatient. Let him swing first. There you go. There's the Rado I stole the key from. I think I'm getting close to the area where there were turrets that I couldn't get past because I didn't have a shield. Go, 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 go. Thank you. I think back here is there. Oh, oh, oh. down here. Always secrets behind the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Spyrite and Safarak. Don't be fooled. The mark on their backs is a trick. Custodians. Caretakers of the vault who have learned some magic. Candles can be put out. 
Well, there's the the Healy friends, the the goddess statue, and those strange yellow pads. Oh, this was this was the the turret. Circle around and use the shield. Well, how nice that we have a dungeon map or a dungeon that we don't have access to yet. A ruined atoll. I love this art. It is now time for crab. Oh, Empoleon, there we go. Okay, I see. I'm near the starting area, just beneath it. Is this a chest? Yes. Hmm. I got some money with my face on it. Accepted at all major retailers. Oh, what? What is? Okay, is there an enemy down here, or is it up above? Okay, well, it was down there. It's it's gone now. I guess there's just a sword guy that got down there. Is it the one that was up top? I don't know how it made it all the way down here. And that's right, just a chest here. And I think, yeah, this is Turret County. Probably shouldn't have rolled. These guys are tough to deal with, just with the amount of stamina I have. It's not really adequate. Some sort of poultice, perhaps? I can't, like, examine things. No, I can't examine the shield. No idea what those do. A mystery. Oop. I need to do that. Oh, this is the ruined atoll. Hello, bird. I don't want to hit this bird. It's not going to try and kill me, is it? Okay, it's running away. Um, I hope it's not like some kind of metal slime. It's just running from me. I don't want to hurt it. Oh, this, this is not even on the map that I currently have. Have a good night, Amethyst. Good luck with school and a happy new year to you. Look, maybe it's foolish to not hurt that bird. I don't know. But it's running from me. You know, little guys gotta respect fellow little guys. Ho ho. Okay. I'm gonna assume don't don't touch this goop. I mean, the mysterious language was in bright red. Clearly that, that means something. Come on, Mario, you coward. Just stick your toe in. Yeah, but then I'd have to get rid of that turret again. I mean, I wouldn't have to, but... Okay, there's another turret there. be able to move faster. I mean, ow, I can roll, but then I run out of stamina. Yeah, I feel like I'm just, like, not quite adequately equipped to take out these turrets properly. Well, heck. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I want that box, I'm gonna die. Ah, 
was hoping I could kill it before I died. I feel like I need more stamina. Oh well. Which way did I go again? This way through the gate, I think. Oh wait, not this way, not this way, not this way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This way, this is where I want to go. Probably not wise to just run past everything and let them all aggro on me, but you know. They'll, they'll get bored eventually, right? Right? I'm just gonna stick my nose in here. Or a parry. That would be good too. Because even if I use my shield to block their shots, I run out of stamina too quickly. If I had just a little more juice, I think I could do it. Okay. Oop. Nope. No, no, no. I already, I already got the stuff past you. That's the ruined Atolas. Just here for my ghost. Here for my ghost, here for my ghost, here for my ghost. Thank you. Is there anything else I could do down here? There's this piece. Oh, I kind of want to take my chances against, against that turret again. I shouldn't roll to get to it, because that takes a big chunk of my stamina already. Whoop. Let it sink back into the ground. have to keep moving. Great. Well, no, I can't do anything about this one. I don't have a ranged attack. Oh, no. Let me open the box. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not immune while I'm opening a box? How rude. Link never had these problems. People respected Link. Like, when you're Link and you open a box, everybody drops what they're doing to watch. Not when you're a little guy. People just can't resist kicking you while you're down. Oh, I'm just gonna go. Oh, you're, you're another turret. That's right, I forgot. I haven't even been down here. Oh, I got a card of some sort. Whoop. Ow. Man, those are a lot of damage. Can you go away, turret, so I can approach you gently? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm being too delicate. Come on, go back. Go back to your hidey hole. It is so inconsiderate, isn't it? wasn't the most useful thing, getting rid of it. You know, it's it's gone, but it wasn't really impeding my progress anywhere. But it's good practice to learn how to deal with them more effectively. Okay, I'm gonna go back down. Nope. Not you, Ratto. I don't think I'm equipped to deal with you. need my corpse, but I'm concerned if there's like something I need in that chest over there. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, facing the wrong way now. Foolish. Oh heck, oh heck, oh heck. Oh 
no, I ran out of health. And I had all my juice. Okay, I need to see what's in that... That box. It'd be really handy if I could find a closer... I need, I need a statue? Goddess? Pyre. I don't know, does, does Bloodborne use Pyre? Never gotten to play Bloodborne. I mean, again, my, my only real Souls-like experience, aside from just, you know, a little bit of the first Dark Souls, is Code Vein. Which, if you're not familiar, is Dark Souls, but extremely anime. Extremely anime. But otherwise, exactly the same. Oh, it was just money. Well, heck. Anyway, I enjoyed Code Vein well enough. Um, I think it just the information was presented more accessibly than Dark Souls. All right, this is here. I just uh, didn't go south because of the turret. Um, but generally, I don't really enjoy gameplay where it's expected that you just beat your head against a wall until it clicks. I mean, there's... I, I like Hollow Knight's difficulty, but that doesn't feel like beating your head against a wall. I wonder why I can outrun it sometimes. Okay, I just hope that one doesn't wake up before I can open this box. Please don't wake up, please don't wake up. Okay. Oh, I got... What was this called? A lure? I got a, a doll of me. <laughs> You've also only played Code Vein Kaito. I think part of the appeal too is again, just how anime it is. It's so over the top that I enjoy how almost campy it is. And I know Dark Souls as well has very, not sparse world building, but it leaves a lot unsaid. And I've heard some people say it's narratively unsatisfying. Now I, I can't, speak for myself. I haven't played it. This is all hearsay. Um, where do I want to go? There's just a box over there. That's not what I want to do. Sorry, everybody. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to cease poking around in this area since it was kind of a bust. Ow. Heck. Rude. You already have beat your get head against a wall until it clicks in your day-to-day -day life. You don't need it for a game. I think, like, because Code Vein was so over the top that it felt more rewarding. I don't know if a drip feed narrative would be as enjoyable for me. And I've heard people describe Hollow Knight as a Souls like, which I see. I, I get the comparison, but it I don't know. It worked better for me. And also, I think it's it's paced faster. Like combat in Souls likes, to my understanding, is that it's very much about parrying and poise and dodge rolling and just waiting for that that opening that perfect opening and i don't really have the patience for that whereas hollow knight um you had uh more well i can't say more options i haven't played dark souls i know there's a lot of different play styles and builds but it just seems speedier how do i deal with this ratto I wonder, I don't know if I can do anything about it right now. Uh, effigy, go. <laughs> I don't know what purpose that serves, aside from just getting money. Oh, I do have- I do have bombs. I have some party poppers. Are you- gosh darn it, are you interested in a party popper, sir? Happy New Year! My party popper! Heck. Happy New Year! Okay. Never mind. That's a waste. This ratto is already sick of New Year's. Okay, I think this, this edge of the map is kind of a bust for right now. So I'm gonna go elsewhere. Um, I 
go back in here for now. The only mandatory part of Hollow Knight that feels like Dark Souls for you is the Watcher Knights. That was a tough fight. And I didn't even know, that's what was in here, that there's a way to get rid of one of them preemptively. But I think that was one of those fights where like, it felt really tough and then upon replaying the game, when I streamed it, I had a much better grasp of the controls and combat and the tools at my disposal and it went much smoother. Like the Mantis Knights too, that was a really tough fight the first time I played the game. And then the second time through I had a much better grasp of, again, the controls and the tools at my disposal. Even the first Hornet fight is pretty tough. But then replaying it, it's, just, it's, it's interesting looking at how far I've come, and probably anyone who plays it has come, just because you, uh, you know, stuff clicks, and you get it, and your, your movements are much more fluid. And also, the second time around when I played Hollow Knight, I actually made proper use of magic, which really made a big difference. Here is my pro strat for the Watcher Knights, for anyone who plays Hollow Knight. Use, use your magic. Makes a really big difference. So I know back in this first area, there was a Rado that I shied away from. What was this again? Oh yeah. Nothing I can understand. Uh, is there anything down here? Nope. Excuse me. Pardon me, friends. You know, I wonder if the items I currently have would help me get past that Rado on the bridge. I don't know, but I'm also hesitant to use them because I don't know how to easily get more of them. But you can't you can't fault me for not using items in that case, right? It's just being sensible if I don't have a clear source and I don't know what they do. Like, well, Mori, you can figure out what they do if you use them. Yeah, but but it's the only one I got. You know, wouldn't that feel like a waste? East Forest was the Rado. So I like that that pen marking there of that. It's that little music note there, maybe. Is that like coffee stains or something on the the manual? That's cute. Um. Yeah, that little doorway drawn on there. I wonder what that is. I guess it's that door beside me. Um... I was wondering if there's anything I can access here that I wasn't able to get at before. But I think I'm just gonna have to go back up and find that rado I shied away from. You also have the JRPG hoarder mentality. That's very validating. <laughs> I mean, what if you need it later? You know what? Even fighting like the, the post-game bosses in Mario RPG, it was a struggle to use items sometimes. It's just that mentality. Uh, it's, like, it's not even so much that I'm consciously thinking I can't use these items, what if I need them later? It's that the um, a disinclination to use them is so deeply ingrained that I don't even consider the usage of them as an option. Okay, let me go back down here. So now I have a sword. You know what? If I can go back to Covain for a second... As over-the-top as it is, and I love that in the character creations, like, there's just, there's so much stuff you can put on your character. Um, the actual, like, designing your base character, like, their body type and their, their base outfit is incredibly limited. I remember, if any of you are familiar with the McElroy Monster Factory series, 
they have a Code Vein episode, and initially they were very disappointed because there's not really sliders you can use to mess with your character's proportions. But it was the accessories that got them excited when they realized, oh man, we can just pile stuff on our guy. But you know, generally the, the character creator in that is, is lacking. Like, I wanna, I wanna make a, you know, a strong, stocky character, like how I am. But you can't really do that. You can only make your care like you pick the the stockier option, but it's really just larger bus size. And that's not what I want. Who's the developer? Was it Bandai Namco? Was it Bamco? I forget. But you know what has a good character creator? When I I got to play it was a uh, Monster Hunter. When it was that free trial for a week on the Switch. That I actually could make a cool, strong, stocky character. Ow. Why am I getting beans by these basic sword fellas? Sad. Shameful. Oh, well, you're still alive. There we go. I want to call it they drop corn pops. Wrong game. Do you actually have a pompadour, Kaito? That's so cool. And it feels on brand. <laughs> Okay, the rat was up there, yeah? Oh yeah, I can get through here now, because I have a sword! Good thing I came back to this area. Oh, I got a more different type of bomb. A fire bomb, I believe. I can't blow this up, can I? Will that work? I mean, I guess there's, there's nothing for it but to try. And if it doesn't work... Actually, this, this is fire bomb, right? Let me... Yeah, fire bomb, ice bomb. I don't know what the, the party popper is exactly. Confetti. I wonder what this eight sixteen thirty two sixty four. What are we? What are we multiplying here? There's that poultice. Maybe if I get enough of those, that will up my stamina. Let me have a look. I can't, you know, I can't equip it. It's just a, a thing that I have. That is not what I mean to do. Okay, bomb go. Nope. Ow, really? Ow, what the? Oh, dear God, I'm on fire. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, okay. Hey, can I go, can I go back to that, that bonfire that wasn't too far ago? Fire away, far away? fire away. If anyone here has played a dark soul, can you can you set yourself on fire? Is that a thing you can do? I wouldn't be surprised. Secrets? Secrets? You always gotta mash your face against the void, just in case. You know, in retrospect, this is probably where you're supposed to go after you get the sword. Because these enemies are a little less beefy than the ones where I was. Oh, thanks for oh, killing the slime for me, friend. I wonder if there will be more cool Skellington Fox shopkeepers. Uh -huh. Oh! Ice bomb, I think. Oh yeah, I bet the amount of gel required to maintain a pompadour is untenable. Probably would get uncomfortably heavy after a while. It's another one of these hooks. I guess I must get some sort of grappling device at some point. Uh-oh. Oh, this is spider country. Oh, cool. Happy New Year. Oh, boy. No, not the manual. 
Oh no, I don't, it's, oh geez, oh geez, it's, oh no, that is, that is a lot of damage. Okay. I don't think I want to be in spider country. Please, please stop desecrating my corpse. Okay, well now I know that, uh, like darked souls, you are not immune from damage when you are in the menu. Or rather, uh, time does not stop around you when you are in the menu. Gosh darn, I keep opening the manual. Alright, uh... I have to remember how to get back down there. <laughs> how do I know this isn't just a single omnipotent fox merchant entity? Like it's the same creature for every single shop? I could dig it. Like, no matter what store you go into, the shopkeeper is just a cool skeleton. Okay, oh! Did that actually damage them? I meant to see how much money I got back. And I forgot. Oh well. Hmm, this is just busted. I don't suppose there's anything I can do here, is there? Well. Hmm. Is there a reason I want to venture through spider country? I'm just trying to poke around before they emerge. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, hello, hello. No thank you, no thank you. You will kill me very fast. If you could like just go back to where you were and then I can explore the area to the right of you maybe. Oh, I'm, this does not even cover the map. Or rather, where I'm I'm at is not covered by the map. So I'm off to the east. Okay, yeah. I forgot I could get down there that way. Hmm. I wonder if there's any reason to try getting rid of all these spiders. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, well, that's effective. Cool. So at least I can poke around here a little bit without dying immediately. Oh, there's a slime and a chest up there. How do I reach? If only I could drop down or scale walls. Hmm. I don't know if getting rid of those spiders really granted me any sort of advantage. So I don't know. There is a chest down there. Can I get down there somehow? There's gotta be a way down there that I'm just uh, gotta mash my face against. I think would be very difficult with the spiders chasing me. Well, another coin with my face on it. Very cute, very handsome. What do I do with it? it doesn't mention anything in the manual in my items, does it? Golden coin. Well, it points towards those cards that I picked up before. I don't see where they are in my menu, though. Hmm. Mystery. Ooh. I should also have a look at this. See if I can't locate this dungeon under the well. Um, figure out what these markings here are. I wonder, is that a bonfire, lack of a better word? 
This isn't a map of where I am, is it? This isn't the East Forest, is it? I feel like if it was, it would show my position. I'm not sure. Paying for some Duolingo lessons. No, no. No, no, no. We, we brute force it. Like browsing Japanese fan sites back in the day to see all the cool artwork. Even though you can't read any of it. Did anyone else do this? I did. I remember trying to not really teach myself Kana so much at the time, but like figuring it out like, okay, these characters refer to this character's name. Sorry, characters, these, when I say characters, I mean Kana. You know, these symbols, this kanji refers to this character's name kind of thing. I have some gold coins. What do I do with them? There's still that Ratto. I don't remember where he was. Boy, I remember saying I might not stream this full time because I'm feeling a little under the weather. But I'm just kind of enraptured by exploration. It's nice just to poke around. Okay, here we go. There's the ratto that I shied away from. And this guy, too. Happy New Year! Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't really want to get close to this this fellow, though. So I'm just going to scoop by him. While he continues to vibrate with impotent rage. down there. Hmm. Is there anything else I can get at here? Is there a way down? I don't think so. I'm assuming I have to come from the other side to get that chest, because it doesn't look like there's a ramp or anything I can use. Hello, sir. Carry on. Don't mind me. We're cool, right? We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Okay, this led to where I got the sword. Funny how much less intimidating these things are now that I have a sword. Of course, a sword does not mean I am invincible from my own mistakes. Okay, there must be a way back to that chest. Uh huh. All right. Oh yeah. Um, while I'm thinking of it, if you like the chill exploration vibes of this game, but find the Souls-like esque combat a little intimidating when I was fiddling in the options there is um, a uh, there are accessibility features I know there is a I forget what it was called like, uh, I'll just pull it up I guess yeah so yeah there's a no fail mode I assume you can't die no stamina restrictions audio puzzle assistance that's a nice one too um, I think there's a way to also Oh yeah, uh, combat difficulty as well. So you can, I think, reduce it? Yeah. So if you are enjoying these chill vibes, but are not so keen on difficult combat and prefer to focus on exploration and chill vibes and solving puzzles, then that is a thing you can do, which I think is great. Sometimes you just want to vibe, you know? You want to look at these beautiful environments and find secrets and not worried not worry about getting shredded by a turret. I don't know if there's anything else in here that I need. So that's where I got the sword. Is there anything else here I can do? Put my map here. 
guess where I'm at is not represented on the map at all, because I'm in the hero's grave. I don't know what this place is. Should, uh, one, more, one more quick check. I just want to make sure there's no like ledges I can walk off or anything. I don't think so. Here lies the hero. He looks so sad. I guess the life of a hero is not an easy one. On the flip side, you know, all the merchandise is of you. That's not bad. Is it worth it? Eh, I don't know. Depends how much you want an action figure of yourself, I suppose. If anybody wants to make an official Mori Nendoroid, by the way, hit me up. pull up my map, but that's not useful here. But there's anything else I can do in this area. Hello, Luce. I am ringing in the new year as a little guy. And of course, you are also ringing in the new year as a little guy, because of uh, what choice do you have? <laughs> Hope your new year was fun and fruitful and laid back and chill. And also, may I say, I am very much looking forward to more Mario RPG. I love that game so much, and I think it's such a treat to see someone experience it for the first time with a fresh set of eyes, not knowing what to expect. Um, I wish I could remember where I'd, I've been and then where I got distracted. I think I went up here and then I opened the door with a lever. Let me just poke around, just in case. Oh, busy week, ugh. I gotta say, it was weird going back to work today. I mentioned before starting the recording, but a coworker of mine had said that today felt like Monday Deluxe. It really did. Plus, I'm feeling a little under the weather, which I think contributes to that. I'm really hoping I'm not coming down with something. It's like if I had to come down with something, I'd rather it, you know, be when I have time off work. And not when I have to go back to work. I don't want to have to take a sick day, heaven for fend. I gotta make that a money. Okay, um, I'm just gonna run back through here. Glad to see that boss is still dead. I might have to be brave and, like, try and use some items. And I don't know where. I can't break these barrels. I mean, hmm. Happy New Year! Oh, there we go. But there was, there was nothing inside. Oh, I guess I, maybe I could have broken them with my sword if I just kept hitting them. Oh, well. That's right, this is where the tuning fork was, I remember now. So I guess really my, my next uh, priority should be that other tuning fork. But it's actually just reaching it is the problem, since I got near it, but I couldn't access it. There's no, like, path here. Is oh, oh, oh. I know. Using an item is so out of character for me. I like these party poppers, though. Oh, it's another poultice of some sort. And you know, until I learn the English names for these items, as opposed to whatever they're being referred to as in the manual, I feel like I have carte blanche to call them whenever I want. They're party poppers, until proven otherwise. Like how I've got pomegranate juice. Hmm, is there nothing else I can access from here? They're taunting me with these these obelisks that I can't reach. What do you drug get? No. 
well, I guess it's, you know, if it's like the, the poultice from Zelda. Wait, there isn't a path to the left here, is there? No. And I guess kind of. Just when you say, say drug it, that makes it sound bad. We are a good little guy. We do nothing illegal. I mean, I guess I stole a guy's dollar. His life savings. But that wasn't illegal. It was just kind of sad. Okay, I am back out here. I want to find this under the well. I wonder if this coincides with something on here. Well, yeah, well. I see well is right there, so maybe I should see if I can't reach there. Excuse me. is just west of me. Okay, well, there's a bridge. How much money do I have? Six hundo. Does this spirit only sell the party poppers now? you've only got the party poppers, huh? Yeah, heck it. I'll take some more party poppers. They're useful. Thank you. Always be to uh, polite to people working retail, especially if they're big, ghastly, skeletal what you call them. Beings kind of undersells it. Um, was it this house that I could access the purple railway from? I don't know what else to call it. So I'm gonna... I feel really bad, but I'm gonna swing my sword around in here in case there's anything else. I really don't want to break this plant, though. Okay, I can't get past here. I can only go to the right. I don't know if there's anything useful for me because I forget what was this way. I think it'll take a bit for stuff to be drilled in my head about where everything is located relative to everything else. Yeah, thanks for the explosives, Mr. Spirit Man. All oh, right, this is by the waterfall. Okay, then I must be near where the well is, yeah. I'm near the dark tomb, I remember. I wanted to go in there. But it's, uh, that, that tomb do be dark. Um, I guess I could poke around this area and see if there's a way to get to that well anyway. Hey. I'm on to you. You do not need that much tongue. Unless you're Yoshi, I suppose. Actually, Yoshi doesn't really need that much tongue either. Oh! I didn't check behind this waterfall? Foolish. What is this? Uh-huh. Oh, man. I cannot sup from whatever that is. I guess not. Okay, well... I'll just have to remember. A strange blue basin behind the waterfall. Boy, I should really call it an evening soon and take some medicine and get to bed. But I'm just so entranced by the exploration aspect of this game. Oh yeah, this is this is where I had raised or lowered the bridge with my dying breath. And then died. Because there were too many dudes. But I'm better, stronger, more competent, and I have a shield now. Hello, Ratto. I remember you. You shoved me, and you spurned my party poppers. Okay, that's right. There was that turret there. 
that stopped me from lowering the bridge. Did the bridge stay lowered? It did. Ow, heck. Oh, okay, so this must be under the well. So I had, like, opened it, and then I died, and then I forgot how to get back here. Hmm. Okay, interesting. If you seek to increase your power... Okay, attack, defense, HP, potion... Alright, so that's an idea of what these do. Also, if I go to the shrine and then I press left bumper. Oh, okay. Oh no! <laughs> you can do it. Try to be this strong. Okay, well that's good to know. Kind of gives you a baseline for what to shoot for if you encounter this boss. I am not that strong. I am not at all strong. But at least I'm better than a single stick. Uh, my little effigy, or not effigy, my ghost is the echo of self. Okay. Not now, sir. Ow. Please, not now, sir. Busy. Busy. Well, I think that's the well there. But let me just... Uh, map, 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 map went past the map. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the background, like the CRT. That's wonderful. The attention to detail in this game. Spectacular. Okay, yeah, so I'm right by the well. But let me go to the uh, statue here. Aha! Uh -huh, okay, this is... Now I wish I hadn't gotten those party poppers. Oh well. Yes. Yay! My gift is accepted. Potion 2 means that a potion restores more health. Let me see. I think so, yes. And then 2 hundo. Gosh, I love this game's approach to puzzle solving and that it really doesn't tell you anything. Except for the manual pieces. And then you have to piece things together yourself. Little guy just got big muscle. Oh, look at that health. But I am- I'm too broke to make another offering just yet. I shouldn't have bought those party poppers. I was a fool. Um, okay, as much as I really want to keep going, I really want to keep going, I should stop, because I need to get some rest. But I'll probably play more of this on Friday, if folks do not mind. This is a nice, chill game, and I hope you find it chill too. Next time I'm gonna go to the- the well. I assume that's a dungeon there. Just like this map says. And we're gonna find some slorms. We're not gonna drink the slorms, maybe. And yeah, I... Oops. I just prayed twice. We're extra devout. Thank you so much, everyone. As always, it is a treat. I hope you had a good, safe, and healthy new year. And I will catch you on Friday for more of Cute Fox Game. So stay safe, stay healthy, take care. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. And Happy New Year. <laughs>